Hello everyone. Welcome to CAD Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial, we will discuss about two commands, sketch solving status and sketch analysis. So let's go to this sketcher. Select the position sketch. Select the front plane and then click OK. So now uh, here, if you see in the tools, it's dragged outside and you can see here uh, these are the uh, tools toolbar and uh, in this we have options create datum only current body output feature profile feature and there there are this uh, two options in the last that is the sketch solving status and the sketch analysis we'll discuss about this previous uh, commands in the future lecture in the other environments so uh, we'll discuss about uh, the uh, sketch solving status so what are the benefits for the uh, sketch solving status so it is just to show uh, whether the sketch is fully constrained or not so uh, if you have uh, one sketch available and uh, if you want to check whether it is fully constrained under constraint or the over constraint you have this option available in Katia v5 which will provide you the exact status so uh, we'll just create one profile here just select the profile option and we'll create one random profile just create this profile and now if you if you try to apply this uh, option here so it will it will show it is under constraint so under constraint means you have your your sketch is not fully constrained so now we will we'll, uh, just use uh, the auto constraint option to apply the auto constraints so let's select the elements to be constrained so i will select all these elements to be constrained and i will select the reference line so just select the reference line here reference element sorry so uh, this is the v and h will uh, we select this axis system and will remain will keep this constraint mode as a chain and just click ok now you can see uh, the constraints are applied here and uh, now we will uh, use the same option that is sketch solving status now you can see here it is iso constraint so iso constraint means the sketch is fully constrained so now we have seen under constraint and iso constraint so let's say uh, if, if you have one more dimension here which is not required let's say we, we apply this uh, 106 here and we'll ap apply this 124 here now you can see here the sketch is over constraint so again if you try to uh, use this option here you can see uh, your sketch is over constrained so in this way it is very much useful command uh, to uh, understand whether your uh, you, whether your sketch is constrained or not so now you can see uh, this green color it is iso constrained that is fully constrained so all the cons all the uh, sketches are constraints now there is another option that is the sketch solving analysis so again uh, what is the benefit of sketch analysis is to show whether the sketch profile is closed or open so uh, for example if you want to uh, pad one of the sketch then we must have the closed profile so it should not be open so let's say uh, now we will see uh, for this profile whether it is closed or not so let's cl uh, click on the sketch analysis option so now you can see uh, the in the geometry mode uh, it is showing the implicit profile and the status is closed and how much curves are there so there are total six curves so this is one two three four five and six these are the four uh, curves here sorry six curves here and these are the close now here uh, you can have uh, these corrective actions also so uh, let's create one example here i will just delete this one this line and we'll create this cage as open so now you can see uh, this cage is open so uh, let's say uh, now you have uh, this sketch at this level and if you want to check uh, now you uh, with a vis uh, which is feasible is uh, that this sketch is closed but yeah uh, if you if you try to make a pad of this 
so it is showing the error you must use the thick option in order to use a um, profile whenever the current feature is the first solid feature of the body do you want to use a sketch anyway so uh, uh, if we have only option available here to add the thickness so if we click ok then we can just provide the thickness for this one so just double click this sketch here and now we will just make it uh, close so again if you try to use uh, this option that is a sketch analysis so now you can see here the implicit profile and the status is open and here are six curves and uh, the endpoints distance so you can see the endpoints as well highlighted as shown you can see here the open points is highlighted here so now we can we can just apply uh, the corrective actions over here and uh, you can see uh, there is a close open profile so we can just close this by clicking on this close open profile option and now again uh, we are we are just forgot uh, you can see here that it is the it is closed now so in this way uh, the sketch analysis toolbar is very much essential while uh, making the close profiles uh, let's say uh, sometimes uh, it happens like uh, you have the lines away from your sketcher in the same sketch so now uh, now you, again uh, if, if you zoom it he, uh, till here you will not find that line here and then again uh, if you uh, try to exit the workbench if you try to pad it you can see here there are there is an error coming because of that line so you can just identify uh, that line also you know, with the help of the sketch analysis now you can see uh, this implicit profile is one and the line is another one that is isolated one and for this one you can de either delete it from here you can see uh, it is deleted or i will just again uh, control c and uh, so uh, now just check it so now instead of deleting it you can just uh, make it to construction so set in construction mode so in this way you can just use the pad command so now again exit the workbench and try to uh, pad it so it will getting padded so again i will just make a control c so in this way you can use these two options for, for sketch solving status and the sketch analysis one more option we will see here uh, is the output feature so uh, let's see uh, this is the output feature so again uh, what are the benefits of output feature is uh, with this feature you you have uh, the option uh, to retain our sketch visible in the 3d as well so uh, for normal sketch it is not possible so let's say uh, if if you just try to exit this workbench so uh, you you cannot uh, see it in the 3d so uh, again if, if if i try to just uh, make a shaft from this one so i will just select the axis here as this one and then click ok so now you can see here the sketch is not visible here and let's say if i will draw one axis here let's draw one axis just use the output feature and it will turn into the thicker line and uh, exit the workbench here and now you can see uh, the output feature line is showing in the 3d mode as well the axis So in this way uh, you can use the output feature as well so uh, for the normal sketch it is not uh, feasible so let's again delete this one and i will create one profile here and will not make it as output feature the exit exit this workbench and now you can see uh, it is not showing in this 3d environment so to show it in the 3d environment you have to uh, make it as output feature so that it will be seen in the 3d again you can if you want to double click it or if you want to uh, change the uh, size or change the dimension you can change it from here so now we have uh, almost completed all the sketcher toolbars here uh, in uh, katia v5 so uh, after that we will we will dis discuss about the part design environment and uh, before going to start the part design environment you have to exit the sketch uh, environment after completion of your sketch 
so just exit the workbench just click on the exit workbench toolbar so once you exit the workbench it will turn into the part design environment and you will find here all the toolbars available in the part design so we will discuss uh, in the upcoming lectures one by one so thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe our channel and uh, if you have any queries or comments uh, you can uh, add it in the comment box below thank you so much